This is Optimal Health Daily, Episode 49, The Zen of the Barbell, by Leo Babauta of zenhabits.net. Get ready to maximize your potential with Optimal Health Daily, the podcast that brings you the best content in health, fitness, and nutrition five days a week. Your optimal life awaits. Now here's your host, Dr. Neil Malik. Hey, it's Thursday already. Welcome back to another episode of Optimal Health Daily, the podcast where I read to you blogs just like an audiobook. I'm Dr. Neil, your very own personal narrator. Today's inspirational quote comes from one of my favoriteest books ever. Yes, I know it's cliche, but it's Tuesdays with Maury. And basically, this quote has driven my life's path up until this point. So here we go. So many people walk around with a meaningless life. They seem half asleep even when they're busy doing things they think are important. This is because they're chasing the wrong things. The way you get meaning into your life is to devote yourself to loving others, devote yourself to your community around you, and devote yourself to creating something that gives you purpose and meaning. And I want to thank you, the listener, for listening to this show. Doing this gives me purpose and meaning because I feel like I'm helping. And so thank you, thank you, thank you for taking the time to listen to me. Now today I'm going to be reading a post from Zen Habits, but before we get into it, if you want to help out this show and keep it going for as long as possible, you can come by oldpodcast.com. There's a how to help page set up there that shows lots of different ways of helping out. Any of those will make a big impact and most are totally free. So again, just visit oldpodcast.com and find the how to help link at the top or go directly to oldpodcast.com slash support. That's it for the intro. Let's jump right into the content and start optimizing your life. The Zen of the Barbell by Leo Babauta of zenhabits.net There was a time when I shunned lifting weights because I felt they were unnecessary for guys looking to get buff. I was also a bit fearful of them because I didn't know much about them. Today, things are a bit different. I still think you can get a great workout without going to a gym but I also love lifting barbells loaded with weights. There's something satisfying about putting your entire body into lifting something heavy, an activity so intense that it requires all of your attention. There is zen in the iron of the barbell, in the heft of the weights, and every session of lifting barbells is like zazen for me. Consider my workout the other day. First, I ran almost a mile, hard, focusing on my breath and the light touch of my feet on the ground as I sped along the concrete. Then, I lifted the weighted barbell from the ground, a deadlift, progressively adding weight from light to, oh my goodness, that's heavy. Every part of the lift required my attention, or I would either not lift the weight or injure myself. My hands gripping the iron, the alignment of my spine, the relation of my hips to the rest of my body, the force of pushing through my heels against the ground. And finally, I ran back home, hard, sprinting up the final hill with complete focus, finishing winded, panting, and wiped out. A few sets of heavy deadlifts between two hard short runs, a total body workout that stimulates every muscle, strengthens my bones, and focuses my brain. That's a pretty good use of half an hour or so. In other workouts, I will do heavy squats, the bench press, bent over barbell rows, power cleans, push presses. I'll add in some weighted chin-ups and dips. These all work out my entire body, exhausting me in a really short time. And as I do them, my mind is on almost nothing but my body, the barbell, and my breath. I don't write this to suggest that everyone should lift barbells, though I think it's great and more people should try them. Women and those of us who are aging come to mind. I write this because the focus I learn from the practice of lifting the barbell is something so useful in daily life. It is a practice, learning to be mindful of what you're doing right now and not always thinking about what you have to do later. It's a practice that you get better at with repetition, as with anything. Does my mind never wander? Do I have complete focus all the time? Of course not. I have the same monkey mind that anyone has, but the practice is learning to be aware of that wandering, learning to return your attention to what you're doing right now. My mind starts to wander from the weights to the work I need to do later. I start thinking of all the things I need to do before my trip, or something I need to do with one of my kids, or how sweet, pretty, and loving my wife Ava is, and I miss her. But if I let myself stay in this future thinking, the barbell will hurt me. I will round my back and pull a muscle, as I've done a few times before, 
or drop the weights on my chest or feet. This is a danger that won't allow me to be elsewhere, and so I come back from the future. I am here, right now, with a weight in my hands that must be pushed or pulled. The returning and the staying with what I'm doing right now is the practice, the awareness. I am not good at it, admittedly, but I've gotten better by doing it over and over. This practice helps with anything I do. If I'm writing, my mind normally gets pulled in every direction, but if I'm to write something worthy of your attention, I have to return to the idea and the writing. I have to be aware of the urges to check email or Twitter or the wandering to other things that might or might not happen later. When I'm with one of my children, I often am elsewhere mentally. The practice helps me return to them, to be with them only, and the moment becomes instantly better. It makes the moments I have with my wife on one of our dates so much better. Our connection is more complete, more genuine. It means that when I take a walk, it is an experience of walking and nature and not a planning session. It means that a shower is a moment of cleansing, purifying, and relaxing. It means a meal is an experience of savoring textures, flavors, and smells. Tea becomes a meditation ritual as well. So does a glass of red wine in the evening. The barbell sits there, inert, not wanting anything, not expecting anything of me. It becomes a simple tool, one that must only be lifted up against the forces created by a massive earth and put back down. A simple tool that is practiced for a way of living, a bell of mindfulness. You just listened to the post titled The Zen of the Barbell by Leo Babauta of zenhabits.net. I love this post because by just reading it, I felt I was becoming more mindful. We never talk about mindfulness while exercising. And that's another reason why I love this post. We talk about it with eating. I've talked about it in the past. Now, one of the greatest weightlifters of all time, no matter how you feel about him, he still is, Arnold Schwarzenegger, he would always say, be mindful of the exercise. Be in the moment. And here, Leo got it just right. One more time, if you enjoy the podcast and want to show a little bit of support, you can contribute financially or otherwise. We made a lot of ways that you can help. Just visit our website, oldpodcast.com slash support, or simply visit oldpodcast.com and find the how to help link. Have a great rest of your Thursday, and I'll be back for the usual Friday Q&A show, one of my favorite parts of the show, where I'll be answering your questions. So stay tuned for that, where your optimal life awaits. Hello, Life Optimizer. This is Justin Mollick, creator and producer of this show and Optimal Living Daily, the brother podcast of this one. Literally, I'm Dr. Neil's brother. If you like the format of this show, you'll love Optimal Living Daily too, where I also read to you from blogs, but cover other topics like personal development, finance, and minimalism from bloggers like Derek Sivers, The Minimalists, Zen Habits, and many more. So for more amazing content read to you for free, come subscribe to Optimal Living Daily too, And together, we'll optimize your life. You've been listening to Optimal Health Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us and remember, your optimal life awaits.